Communities of color remain hardest hit by the COVID pandemic, and despite the promising news of vaccines that are now available, there is still, as we've been talking about, a lot of skepticism sur surrounding them. Yes, Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz is hosting a town hall meeting tonight to address those skeptics and hopefully change their minds. He joins us this morning to share his thoughts. Good morning. Good morning, Betty. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. I hope you and your family are well. Same to you. you. Thanks for stopping by today. All right, we want to get right down to it. How has this second COVID surge impacted the Bronx? Uh, look, we continue to educate people and make sure that they get tested. But the fact is uh, that we still have a high percentage of positives. Uh, we've tested uh, uh, to date 1.5 million people in our borough. Over 78,000 have tested positive. We've tested uh, just yesterday over 12,000 individuals. And it's really affected us because over the last uh, seven days alone, we've had over 30 deaths. And of course, I don't have to tell you how it's totally de um, decimated our yeah. local economy. But we've been struggling here. It's struggling indeed. And, you know, I, I want to talk about light at the end of the tunnel, which many are saying would be the vaccine, right? Or the vaccines now that Moderna and Pfizer both in play. Have the first rounds actually made their way to the Bronx yet? And do you yourself plan to get one? So the answer to that, the first question is yes. The um, we've had uh, our hospitals get they were delivered tens of thousands of vaccines. Uh, we see the nurses, the physicians, uh, many of the faculty uh, getting and receiving them. Uh, just yesterday, we saw that Hebrew home um, yeah. in the Northwest, as well as other nursing homes, have received them. The the staff are getting them, uh, and so we we happy to he hear that they're here. Um, that their folks are getting them. Uh, we, as for myself, uh, the, the fact is that when the time comes where uh, someone of my age, I don't have any pre-existing conditions, once we get all of the essential workers, once we get all of the yeah. elderly, the pre-existing conditions out the way, I, yes, I plan to, to get the vaccine, Dan. And you have no hesitation own. about it because there is a lot of misinformation out there and a lot of concern, especially with past history and when it comes to vaccinations and testing on the black and brown communities. So what are you telling folks who are hesitant then if you indeed are going to get the vaccine? So this is the reason why we're having our town hall tonight, one of many that we've already had and that we'll continue to have. We, we're doing it in multi uh, languages, uh, not tonight, but moving forward. Uh, in Spanish, we, we want to address other communities in, in our diverse uh, borough, and we hope that people join us in our town hall, uh, where the goal is to promote health uh, literacy. Uh, the, the, the reality is that we want to raise awareness, we want to debunk misinformation. Uh, many of the people in our community have a distrust of experimental medicines, uh, because traditionally in the past, we've quite frankly been used as guinea pigs. Yeah. Uh, but we want to have a, a a great panel of health experts that are black and Latino, uh, leaders in, in the community, scientists who are, are, will all give information out to the public about what's in the in the vaccine and also answer many of their questions. You know, uh, Borough President, that the, the history is real, right? It provides the context for that distrust and mistrust that you that you're describing. What are you hearing from some of the Bronxites about? their concerns regarding the vaccine, because we even had Damon Escobar, a black violinist on our air yesterday, who said, I I'm going to wait and see. And he's a young man. Well, people think that um, A, it was rushed too quickly. So we want to express to them how science has evolved in such a way where now we can get vaccines ready and safe and effective. Um, in a short period of time. In, in fact, the bureaucracy in the past or in the recent history has what what's delayed vaccines coming out. So we want the people say, oh, well, it happened too quickly. People mm -hmm. want to know uh, whether or not they would be immune, whether or not um, they would be um, uh, get infected once they right. get the vaccine. Uh, folks have all of these questions. And that's the reason why we've partnered up with Virginia Fields who is a credible um, health expert, the former Manhattan Borough President. Uh, she's president of the National Black Leadership Commission and so many other doctors and presidents of, of uh, hospitals who are going to be there tonight to answer all questions, disseminate um, an overload of information as well. So it's not just misinformation, Dan. Right. But right. It's, you know, we want you to get it from the scientists, from the doctors, not from Facebook. Of um, course. And we want to join us tonight. Uh, what time and where for people who want to watch virtually? 
So again, this is virtual. You go on Zoom. Um, you can register on Zoom and you'll find um, the link there. And then we start at 630 tonight. Uh, but this will be one of many that we'll continue to have moving forward. Uh, when it is all said and done, uh, people need to realize that the vaccine is the only way that you can protect yourselves, your families, and the communities, and that we can go back to some level of normalcy as a society. Mm. Yeah, normalcy. That sounds so far away, but I guess we're progressing a little bit closer that each and every day as more mm. people get inoculated with this. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. As always, great seeing you. And thanks for doing the Thank town you hall. For Stay safe, everyone. Yeah, Happy right back at you. To you.